Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. The toxin of the day is arsenic, and for ease, we have named the scene as Arsenal Football Club, as the name arsenic and Arsenal are a bit synchronous. So let's talk about arsenic. Let's talk about the category of arsenic. So you can see a yellow board with the cross sign. So it is a sign that is used for irritants. So arsenic belongs to the category of irritants. Let's talk about the forms of arsenic. You can see two footballers that are tackling in the middle of ground. One with the grey shirt and one with the white shirt. Arsenic is basically non-toxic and grey substance represented by the man in the grey. As it gets exposed to air, arsenic is converted into arsenic oxide and it becomes toxic. That is represented by a white footballer with a toxic sign. Let's talk about the fatal dose and fatal period of arsenic. So you can see marking in the center of crown representing area of 120 into 200. That is representing a fatal dose of 120 grams to 200 grams. Fatal period of arsenic is represented by red LED clock on the right side of the scene and the clock says 12.48 hours. So the fatal period of arsenic is 12 to 48 hours. Let's talk about the mechanism of action. It is represented by a blue hydral water pump and doctor talking to a man and a red barrier just beneath the clock. So there is a blue water hydral pump and beside the pump there is a banner that says no self use. So it represents the mechanism of action that is inhibition of self hydral group. So inhibition of self hydral group interferes with the cell metabolism. You can remember with the blue hydral and the banner with the symbol of inhibition. Secondly, you can see our doctor that is talking to a man with a bubble of brain entangled with chains. You would remember the same symbols from the cocaine video. So there it was representing the phenomena of CNS depression. So you can remember that arsenic is also related with CNS depression. Also beneath the clock, you can see a red barrier that is just like dilated capillaries. So arsenic causes dilatation of capillaries and is known as capillary poison so remember that it causes inhibition of the self hydral group it is also cns depressant and it also causes dilatation of capillaries so let's talk about sign and symptoms of acute poisoning so acute symptoms are represented on a left side of the scene you can see a boy in a temporary bathroom he is holding his stomach and is vomiting and there is a pool of water under the toilet so the holding of stomach represents the colicky abdominal pain he is visibly vomiting and the water on the floor represents the characteristic watery diarrhea in case of arsenic poisoning in front of the boy there is a boy sitting on the ground and is holding his leg most likely he was playing and had a cramp so arsenic also causes cramps due to dehydration of the cells so in acute poisoning we can have vomiting colicky abdominal pain watery diarrhea and dehydration let's talk about the chronic sign and symptoms they are represented by a scoreboard just beneath the arsenal logo so there are basically four stages represented by four groups there is G and N group, CATS group, RASH liner group and NERDS group. So let's discuss the first stage that is represented by G and N group. So the G and N group represents the stage of nutritional and GIT disturbances. There is weight loss, anorexia, diarrhea, fatigue and vomiting. So uh, the second group, CAT group, represents the stage of catarrhal changes, feeling of common cold, running nose, Headache, running eyes, conjunctivitis, cough fatigue, hoarse voice, eruption of skin, inflammation of mucous membranes. Third group represents the rash liner group and it is related to stage of skin rashes. We can 
earthy patchy brown pigmentation of skin that is known as the raindrop appearance skin rashes may be mistaken for addison disease irritation or vesication and mees line that are white lines on the nails that are also visible in this stage these both are characteristic and diagnostic point of arsenic poisoning so we have illustrated this separately as well so you can see uh, two footballers that are tackling with each other so you may have heard about ronaldo and messi that are very famous players of football so the rain pigmentation is represented by rain aldo we have changed the name and you can see the brown uh, player that is having brown shorts and having dots on the shirts so rain aldo is having brown pigmentation and messi is represented by messi or mees line to represent the mees line so you can remember messi by the mees line and there is also a white line on the shirt so just remember the rain drop appearance or brown pigmentation and mees line are the diagnostic points of arsenic poisoning the fourth group the nerds group represents the stage of nervous disturbances as nerds are a bit brainy so we have uh, represented the name to remember so the stage of nervous disturbances include tingling and numbness of hands and feet tenderness of muscles neuritis headache drowsiness impaired vision and mental activity there may be enlargement of kidney liver and heart and bone marrow is depressed in this stage let's talk about the post mortem appearance of arsenic poisoning so on the right you can see uh, a blue child that is wearing a yellow t-shirt and with yellow eyes so the blue face is representing the phenomena of cyanosis and yellow eyes are representing jaundice so cyanosis and jaundice can be found in the post mortem appearance also there is a broken bottle on the left side of the child and the water is on the floor that represents a phenomena of dehydration on the right side of child you can see a velvety bag that represents the shape of stomach so the velvety bag represents the velvety appearance of stomach on the post mortem so we can see cyanosis we can see jaundice and velvety stomach on the post mortem appearance let's talk about the medical legal importance of arsenic so let's come back to the broken bottle that is present on the left side of the child you can see the water is clear so in arsenic poisoning it is a perfect homicidal agent because it is odorless and it is colorless so it can be used to kill individuals with the intention of killing making it a perfect homicidal agent next you can see uh, on the front of the bathroom in which the child is holding his stomach there is a symbol that no pregnant ladies are allowed that represents that arsenic acts as a abortifacient and it is not to be given in pregnant lady so arsenic is used as a abortifacient and is also used for homicidal intents let's talk about the management of arsenic poisoning so you can see our a uh, classical gastric lavage bottle on the right bottom but you can see the color of the bottle is a bit milky so in case of arsenic poisoning we use warm water and milk for gastric lavage on the left side of the bottle you can see a dimer of capsule so to remember we have made this dimer of capsule representing the intramuscular administration of dimercaprol along with the gastric lavage and im dimercaprol par enteral fluid and supportive management can be used So here was our video of arsenic poisoning so if you have any questions drop in the comment section till then take care for detail literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan